Trends. Normally, it's what's popular or preferable for fashion, what is likable or shareable on social media. It's also defined as the general direction in which something is developing, the way something bends. Bending curves, or rather flattening them, is what we've been advised to watch when it comes to COVID-19, as trends have become an important statistic in that collection of information. And every day, if you look at our numbers linearly, we've been going up. New confirmed cases bumping it higher. Some days we get a bigger bump than others. But those are total numbers. So Mike suggests we should look at it differently. Instead of giving us total COVID numbers, why aren't we getting new cases and number of people in hospitals? Shouldn't we be looking at trends rather than totals going forward? That's from our Facebook group. And yes, we have been looking at the trends. It's one of the reasons Idaho is on the path it's on right now with reopening. Our graphs actually heading south. So let's look at the trends. To find the latest official numbers, one needs to look no further than Idaho's own Department of Health and Welfare website. Lots of graphs and numbers classified by cases and county and other demographics. And with about 2,100 confirmed and probable cases across the state, that line is heading upward. But broken down day by day over the last several weeks, we are moving in a more downward direction. So let's start with testing. So far, we've had more than 30,000 Idahoans tested for coronavirus since this all began. The state, they've been compiling how many tests have been done by each health district each day since February 26th when we had just one. So our greatest number of tests were done on March 23rd. That's this day right here, when more than 1,100 Idahoans were tested for coronavirus. That was in one day, and we kind of bounced around that number for a couple of weeks, up until April 13th, which is this day right here. And then we start to see that trend go downward and continue that all the way down to April 21st, when we tested just 115 people across the state. These are the latest numbers that we have on testing. So yes, we have been seeing fewer Idahoans get tested for coronavirus. Compare that to the confirmed number of cases each day on our website, ktvb.com. And if we zoom in here to April 2nd, this would be our greatest total here at 227. 227 people tested positive for coronavirus on April 2nd. We've seen a steady drop in cases since then. And if we go back roughly about two weeks, back to April 20th, when we had 58 new cases, you can see that number has remained pretty steady. Our highest daily total at this point between these two weeks, just 33 positive tests per day. So while the total number has ticked up, the day-to-day -day tally, well, that has trended down, which has been our goal. And as far as the number of people in hospitals, those numbers have been tracked as well. We've had 66 deaths in Idaho at this point attributed to coronavirus, and we get new numbers every day right around this time, 5 o'clock, so those could update as we get through the show here. And according to the state website, 201 confirmed COVID cases have spent some time in the hospital, with 83 having been admitted to the intensive care unit. Of the nearly 2,000 confirmed coronavirus cases, the Department of Health and Welfare can confirm more than 1,350 have recovered fully.